Alright, we are day 16 and I've made a great progress. Finally, I'm getting somewhere. I'm now ranked 26th. I produce a lot of wood and steel. This is amazing, man. Got a lot of wood provinces now and steel, double steel. I've boosted the morale to 86%. Got wood over here, wood over here. Got a double wood double steel and what is most amazing is that they didn't rebel and so I've got industry level 3 over here that's pretty cool man and then over here as well level 2 industry and even a railroad I'm gonna deactivate it I'm not gonna repair it yet because we still have the threat of Kokaz is over here I can get invaded by Kuban I need to get units over here I'm getting counter-attacked over here well not really counter-attacked he's moving all his units to this bunker there's quite some units in here 82 in infantry 7 artillery 8 armored cars and 7 cavalry and he tries to bring in another 16 infantry but i'm not okay with that man i could attack them with my 15 uh, cavalry but i'd prefer to wait got more cavalry here joining in and also these three cavalry are going to be able to make it that's 21 cavalry in total plus four armored cars that's gonna make a formidable force to counter attack him very fast and spread out again or if this army is combined i might might actually just uh, hit that bunker while I'm at it I mean why not right and uh, this one maybe I should just send it over here and then occupy this province then I just need to hope that in 10 hours I'm not gonna get counterattacked by the AI I've switched up the production of wood because I'm gonna need a lot of wood now that I have steel access first railroad over here over here soon I'm gonna build a level 4 industry which is the highest level I'm gonna do the same over here here I want to finally finish the railway but before I do that I want to build a naval base so that I can produce finally naval units. Also over here I need to develop these provinces more but at the same time I need to develop the new double steel provinces that I have. There's one over here that is too close to Van for the moment and also this one over here. Once this is all gonna be cleared up my economy will be pretty solid. Also Halep is being taken over fast. Central Rashid is now also the target. We've got Nord Heaz, who finally can capture here his uh, starting provinces back. Sudwest Al Rashid is an AI. How this one still is alive, I don't know. He's attacking. Guess that East Egypt is in war with him. Day 16 also means the mightiest army list. And Mr. Monarchy is New York. <laughs> Looks like he's um, losing his uh, patience with the, the card spammers. Hispaniol is not very happy about it. And he replied, use Google Translate. In Deutschland wird Deutsch gesprochen. In Germany, we speak German yeah dude you forget that there's one international youtuber who joined together with this community and so there's English speaking people here as well thanks for your consideration mate of course somebody who is uh, selfish enough to buy the win isn't very considerate I guess the mightiest arm list I'm not in it which is no surprise with my tiny economy uh, the first ally that is in it is ranked 9th East Egypt Sud Kerman is a uh, 19th and all the rest of us are are not in there four more players that went ai today but well, that's no surprise you can see um, oh bm fox is the best is back thanks i'm doing fine there's already a lot of players off the map as you can see uh, when i zoom out completely then not that many names now you can see the countries clearly the next morning all right good morning the yeah, ai is uh, counter-attacking everywhere so i've got um, plenty of units that are attacking over here well not plenty it's fine six over here six over here here in uh, the fish provinces unfortunately there is a harbor here that is <laughs> not gonna survive another attack on this province because i've already took this province twice so if i take it the third time it's gonna be gone too bad most importantly this province is secured i'm sending 10 infantry over here so that also tiflis is secured i'm repairing the barracks over here and over here i am repairing the railroad so it takes another hour and six minutes also van is counter-attacking hey whoa whoa where are you going i'm not okay with that man because the capital is next yeah that's not good I didn't check that march go uh, 55 minutes too bad oh, i've got the time i guess <laughs> four hours for this bull march dear god i don't know how many units are in the capital over here with the level four bunker i can't see a thing i'm going in for the kill 13 infantry a level three bunker well level two that should be fine maybe before i do that i should heal up my armored cars because i see that they took a lot of damage i should have a couple of boosters 16 hit points yeah let's take all 16 thanks stop and 
attack. Let's go. Next up, you can see that also finally the bunker here of Harlep is level 3, almost level 2. So he's gonna start losing units now. He lost one unit. Luckily, he only has one artillery. Eyalet, he has 10 artillery. So that's gonna go fast. But he has less units in his stack and is not in a bunker. So uh, should put more units in there, man. Also, he has his first light tank. Uh, the level 3 is almost built. That's good. Then I'm gonna be able to build a harbor. Uh, level 4. Level 3, 12 hours. Here, I've got the railroad construction. That's great. Level 2, 14 more hours. Construction takes a long time, man. Luckily, because also resource production takes a long time. But I see I've been a little bit in trouble with the steel. That's better. Wow, 874 wood an hour. That's lovely, man. And still got steel for two industry. Thank God for my war economy. Shagai is taking the last provinces as well. The 10 cavalry, so that's gonna go fast. I'm gonna take two capitals today, Erzurum and Avan. That is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna lose my food province, however. Uh, can't have everything, I guess. I'm sending three infantry, but I don't think they're gonna arrive in time. Should have sent them earlier. Too bad. Also over here, I should uh, start building stuff. But coal is less important. I need to focus on uh, food for cavalry and especially wood and steel. I'm gonna have a plenty of railroads soon, man. Trebizond also is building. I'm gonna focus on economy for now. I hope you have enjoyed enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications and i want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel